The electric vehicle revolution is taking an unexpected turn, and it's happening far from Tesla's gigafactories. While Elon Musk has long championed lithium-ion technology, China is making a bold move that could shift the entire industry. The rapid development of sodium-ion batteries, cheaper, safer, and more sustainable than lithium, has positioned China as the global leader in next-generation energy storage. Companies like CATL, BYD, and even Huawei are entering the sodium battery race, and the world is watching closely. Will Tesla and other Western automakers adapt, or will they be left scrambling? The answer could shape the future of the EV market. Lithium-ion batteries have fueled the EV boom, but they come with significant challenges. One of the biggest concerns is cost volatility. Lithium prices skyrocketed between 2020 and 2022 before sharply dropping in 2023, making long-term EV pricing unpredictable. There's also growing concern over resource scarcity. Lithium, cobalt, and nickel are limited and are mostly controlled by a few countries. The U.S. and Europe, for example, depend heavily on China for battery-grade lithium, making them vulnerable to supply chain disruptions. Lithium-ion batteries have been mass-produced since the 1990s, while sodium-ion technology has only recently re-emerged as a serious contender. That means the existing manufacturing infrastructure heavily favors lithium, helping drive down its cost. However, despite the benefits of sodium-ion cells, several hurdles remain. Manufacturers need to scale up production, and there are still chemical limitations to address. Encouragingly, in September, scientists at the U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory developed a new cathode that allows sodium-ion batteries to undergo 400 charge cycles, a key step toward making sodium-ion batteries a viable and cost-effective alternative. Beyond economics, there are serious environmental and ethical issues tied to lithium. Mining lithium is energy-intensive, consumes large amounts of water, and causes significant environmental degradation. Cobalt mining, particularly in the Democratic Republic of Congo, has raised human rights concerns, including child labor. Sodium, on the other hand, is abundant, affordable, and far easier to source. It can even be extracted from seawater and table salt. This eliminates the need for destructive mining and reduces environmental harm. China has wasted no time in capitalizing on sodium ion technology. Currently, 16 of the 20 sodium battery factories in development worldwide are located in China. More than $4 billion has already been invested in this emerging industry, putting China at the forefront of the next phase in EV battery development. Leading Chinese battery makers, CATL and BYD, are spearheading commercialization. CATL recently unveiled its second-generation sodium-ion battery, boasting a record-breaking energy density of 200 watt-hours per kilogram, approaching the performance of lithium-iron phosphate, LFP, batteries. Sodium-ion batteries also perform better in cold weather. Unlike lithium-ion cells, which often struggle in freezing conditions, Sodium-ion batteries can function reliably at temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. BYD, one of the world's top EV manufacturers, has already begun mass-producing sodium-ion batteries and aims to make them cheaper than lithium by 2025. Despite their many advantages, sodium-ion batteries still lag behind in one critical area, energy density. The best lithium-ion batteries can exceed 300 watt-hours per kilogram, while sodium-ion cells are just now reaching 200 watt-hours per kilogram. This means sodium is not yet suitable for long-range vehicles like Tesla's flagship models. However, for budget EVs, city cars, and two-wheelers, sodium-ion technology is already proving to be an ideal fit. Safety is another key benefit. Sodium-ion batteries are significantly safer than lithium-ion counterparts because they are less prone to thermal runaway, the chemical chain reaction that causes many EV fires. While lithium batteries can explode under extreme conditions, sodium batteries remain far more stable. 
For automakers, this safety profile is a major selling point, especially in a world where viral videos of EV fires can erode public trust. Chinese automakers are already incorporating sodium-ion batteries into real-world vehicles. Brands like Sherry and JC Motors have sodium-powered EVs on the market, while electric motorcycle companies such as Yadia are rolling out sodium-powered scooters. This shows that sodium-ion tech is no longer just a lab concept. It's being implemented in commercial products. Catl has also introduced the Freon battery, a hybrid solution that combines lithium and sodium cells. This innovation delivers long-range performance at a lower cost and could be a game-changer for mid-range EVs. CATL claims its sodium-ion batteries offer unprecedented performance in extreme weather. At the World Young Scientists Summit, CATL's chief scientist Wu Kai stated that the company's second-generation sodium cells can function normally even at minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. According to local Chinese media, these advanced cells will launch in 2025, with mass production beginning by 2027. Sodium-ion batteries operate similarly to lithium-ion ones. Ions move between positive and negative electrodes during charge and discharge cycles. However, sodium-ion batteries excel in a few critical areas. They are highly energy efficient, charge quickly, and remain stable under extreme temperatures. There is less risk of thermal runaway, they're less prone to overheating, and they are remarkably cost-effective due to sodium's abundance in nature. Another key advantage is environmental safety. Sodium-ion batteries do not require lithium, cobalt, or other toxic materials that can release harmful gases in case of a fire. According to KTL's Wu Kai, the company's upcoming sodium-ion cells will be the most resilient on the market. Their ability to withstand temperatures as low as negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit means that EVs using these batteries will not suffer reduced range in extreme climates. This directly addresses one of the major barriers to EV adoption, concern over cold weather reliability. Lithium-ion batteries struggle under the effects of extreme temperatures, whether cold or hot. This is because lithium ions are no longer able to move as freely as they would under normal conditions. As a result, the increased resistance faced by the lithium ions leads to lower driving ranges and longer charging times for EVs. Despite the potential benefits of sodium ion batteries over lithium ion, the latter remains more accessible due to economies of scale. The US government has pledged $50 million for sodium ion battery research hoping to reduce dependence on China.